Eh, la comunidad del tigre está en medio de la jungla y una de las limitantes que tienen en su progreso económico son los caminos. Cuando llueve aquí abundantemente es inaccesible. Esta unidad educativa eh, se encuentra en plena Amazonía Boliviana. En este lugar no hay señal de internet, no hay electricidad, no hay servicios básicos, estamos en plena selva. Para nosotros, no solamente para mí, estoy seguro que para toda la comunidad, el tener luz, el tener computadoras, esa tecnología, va a ser de mucho beneficio. ¿ya? Eh, aparte que los papás, muchos de los papás solamente han estudiado la primaria, ninguno de ellos sabe manejar la computadora. One of the biggest needs around the world in remote communities is solar power and computer literacy and education. And it allows the people in those communities to get a higher education, to go into college. So if they have computer skills, they have a chance to get into college from these really remote communities. I flew down two and a half years ago to this community. And of course, this was late 2019, and then boom, early 2020, the pandemic hit. So we had everything moving, the land, the contractor, the school plans, all the approvals from the companies that this community needs our help. I put these trips together with effort and intention to do good, try to enhance the quality of lives of people around the world. But really, it's to get people to come together and feel like an empowered, equal team to go out and succeed on these expeditions. The need in this community was really educational purposes and light. We took hours of plane rides, uh, little plane rides to remote community, and then bus travel, all to get to El Tigre, and really just shows how remote this community is. When we stepped off the bus, we were surrounded by a handful of band. They walked us down, we shook hands, gave so many hugs to so many people, and uh, they sat us down, we got coconut water, straight from the coconut, we watched some beautiful dances and songs, and they really made us just feel like we were. When you go into communities and culture around the world, I'm not sure what's more important than, than feeling welcome. I mean, without that, you can't do anything. On behalf of myself and our entire team, we thank you for the warm welcome. We're so, so happy to be here, and we are honored and humbled to get to spend the next couple weeks with you all. The need was kind of immediately realized when we uh, came to have dinner tonight in the dark. Just super excited over the next few days to be able to completely change the atmosphere here, completely change the lives of these people by providing light to spaces like this. <laughs> Buenos dias. This is the new computer education center that we're going to finish. We're going to put solar panels, solar energy, new computers, desks. And I want to show you the before so you can see the after. We had all these desks and chairs built specifically for this computer education center. You can see all of the Gold Zero solar power that we're going to unbox. And soon you're going to see a brand new computer education center and I, I can't wait to get this done. As far as installation, the Yetis are really an easy system to set up with. It's just plug and play really. You, you take a solar panel, you plug it in, and that charges the system. Plug whatever you need to plug in, whether that be a refrigerator or whether that be some lights. It's amazing to see the community come together here in El Tigre. A lot of the women and men, without being asked, just came to the school and, and started helping us. There was a huge mud pit in front of the school and the women would put rocks down and then dump dirt on it. So by the end of the day, there was just no more mud and, and water in standing places. Everyone was working hard and it was really, really heartening to see everyone come together for a common purpose. It just like shows how much unity there is in this community. Agradecer mucho por todo lo que están haciendo. 
porque todo lo que nosotros necesitamos la computación para conocer más y a través de eso nosotros vamos a conocer, investigar y hacer algo en la vida, no tener una profesión. En locaciones como this, our product just isn't an outdoor accessory or something to make a camping trip incrementally better. Uh, it's truly changing lives. It's providing possibilities that weren't there before. Eh, sí, se necesita este lugar mucho porque hay niños, jóvenes que están ansiosos de conocer. This team was really great to work with. Everybody was willing to help. Everybody was willing to problem solve. We had some pretty difficult problems in trying to get the solar down to the batteries because each building really had its own set of issues. So Mike Lebecki as the team leader has been awesome. Plus he also went into the back cave. And if he did not do that, we wouldn't have had solar power connection. This is the largest project that we've ever done in the history of Goal Zero. There are more panels that have been shipped and sent, more generators that have been shipped and sent. So being up on the, the roof with the safety harnesses and making sure everything is uh, safe was important and a priority. But then also being able to install all of those solar panels, it felt like every time we laid a panel, we we're laying the foundation for a better future for these children and for these people. A few of the little girls came in and they were so excited about having lights in their classroom. They kept saying, la luz, la luz, que bonita. <laughs> When we showed up here just a few days ago, like this entire place was pitch black. Showed up, set our tents up in the dark, no light at all. Um, and now, basically, like just a few days later, we've lit up this entire area, lit the stadium up, lit um, almost all of the classrooms up, um, and just kind of wrapping up the, the final touches on the project. But um, a lot of pride right now. Like, yeah, been a lot of work, probably 60 hours of, of work for all of us, but all worth it, you know, so really cool. So literacy, increasingly more, isn't just the ability to read and write, but this idea of digital literacy is crucial. And for the vast majority of people in the community of El Tigre, no one had even seen or used a computer before. A digital native is someone that grew up around technology and they have no outside knowledge of, of that technology not existing. This next generation that is coming up here will have that luxury of always having access to technology in some capacity. So to have them have it in their hands, to be you know, moving a mouse around, to be using a touch screen, to be typing some keys, it was just really, for me, a powerful experience as they're just scratching the surface on the impact that this type of technology and software will have on their lives. One of my favorite moments from this expedition so far is when we were doing the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new computer lab in El Tigre. One of the things said by one of the locals was that he would have never imagined that in this little remote corner of the world that they would be getting an opportunity to have computers and to have light and solar panels and this was like a celebration that meant really a lot to him. It is incredibly important for us that these projects are sustainable. And what I mean by that is we are committed to making sure the solar power works. We're committed to making sure that the computers have software and updates, training, teaching, etc. And so without sustainability, these projects are not worth it. So it's an ongoing commitment and relationship down the road that we continue to follow up with and make sure it's sustainable. Ahora yo creo que esto de los paneles solares y como nos informaron, nos hicieron conocer que la fuerza que tiene, entonces y la computadora, las computadoras también están la información, yo creo que vamos a trabajar, eh, bueno, hacerlo, lo que se tiene que hacer con lo que el proyecto nos está dando y de verdad muchas gracias, muy feliz. Gracias a todos los que han hecho esfuerzo y posible eh, esta instalación con esto, yo creo que vamos a dar un buen paso para la educación. Y estoy seguro que el tener luz, esta energía y también las computadoras va a ser de mucho beneficio para los estudiantes de esta institución educativa, más para la comunidad.